So this summer, I went to the beach on vacation. While I was there, I went out into the ocean and I scooped up some salt water in a jar. So here I have the jar with my salt water, but you can see that I didn't just scoop up the water. I also scooped up some sand and some seaweed. So here's your question. What could I do to separate out the salt and get the salt by itself? What steps would I need to take to get the salt out of the water and by itself? Take a minute, discuss that with your classmates, and I'll be back to talk about the answer. Now it'll actually take me two steps to get the salt out of the water and by itself. The first thing I need to do is get the water away from the sand and the seaweed. Now the sand and the seaweed are insoluble. They're not dissolving in the water like the salt is. So to get the water, the salt water, away from the sand and the seaweed, I need to filter it. By filtering out the sand and the seaweed, I'll be able to get the salt water by itself. So now that I've filtered out the sand and the seaweed, I'm left with just the salt water. But salt is a soluble substance, so the salt is dissolved inside this water. So in order for me to get the salt out and away from the water, I'm going to need to evaporate the water. So to do that, I'm going to place my solution on this hot plate so that the water will evaporate away. So now that I've evaporated away the water, I'm left with just the salt. And so you can see all of the white in this beaker, and that is all of the sea salt, the salt that had been dissolved in the ocean water. So first, I filtered out the insoluble substances, and then I evaporated away the water to get the soluble salt out of the water. And now I have my sea salt alone and by itself. I'm sure this is something that you and your classmates came up with. Keep up the great work. I'll see you next time.